G'day, Andrew here from GameStar Go with a brand new video for you. Now, I know I said I was going to update you guys on my Twitch streams and my scheduling, but while I'm still going through my final setup and my final stream checks, I thought I'd do something a little bit different and a little bit more fun and do a Pokemon fan theory. Now, if that's the kind of thing you guys like, smash the like button. And while you're at it, hit the bells and whistles if you love fan theories too. Now, I hope you grabbed your favorite drink and have gotten comfy because here we go, guys. Some new information came out last week at the end of the Pokemon World Championships and not a lot of people have theorized its potential like I thought they would. And for many years I have watched Poketubers make calls that no one else could see coming or even thought of for that matter. And I've watched countless Poketubers over the years and the guys I watch are usually on the money when it comes to their trailer announcements and posts and their theories and speculation are beyond a doubt some of the best I've seen. But I think I may have found a theory that has fallen into that little grey area between the left of field and beyond their theoretical idea of what could be in these games, or it's just being overlooked. Now much like you, I've watched and waited for any announcement from the Pokemon company, and yet since the announcement we've had very little come out of them, but as the launch for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet grows near, the videos have slowly come out, and this last week at the Pokemon Worlds we were given a short clip regarding the competitive battles and within that video we were shown some pretty cool features to assist with competitive play as well as main story but the thing that really caught my eye and i'm sure the rest of the pokemon community fan base was the introduction of the new pokemon cyclozar the mount pokemon yes mount like the box art legendaries Coridon and Maridon. Like you, I've spent hundreds of hours playing Pokemon and hundreds more watching Pokemon shows, YouTube theories, and out of all of that knowledge, one thing keeps popping into my mind. Wow, Cyclozar reminds me of Cosmog. In the figurative sense, obviously. These two Pokemon are considerably different, as you can see. But Cosmog was a pre-evolution to Cosmom, which in turn was a pre-evolution to Solgaleo and Lunala, Sun and Moon's box art legendary Pokemon. And that got me thinking, what if Cyclozar is the ninth generation's version of Cosmog, but Cyclozar has more of an actual use? Sorry, no offense Cosmog. And if our suspicions are correct, and there could be some sort of a race component in Scarlet and Violet, then I believe that Cyclozar could be our first Pokemon mount. In Cyclozar's Pokedex entry, it states that this Pokemon has lived in many households in the Paldea region since ancient times. It has a mild disposition, and people riding Cyclozar are very common sight. It appears that Cyclozar does not mind being ridden because the warmth of a rider helps stave off the cold. Now, as we know, we eventually get Coridon and Maridon, depending on what game version you've purchased, to be specific. And I believe it to be after either completing 50% of the total gameplay, 50% of each trial, it could be as simple as collecting a specific item, or during an event like a race or encounter with the enemy team at what I like to call the Void Lab and Research District. And what do I mean by the Void Lab, do you ask? Well, here's the Paldea map, supplied thanks to Birdkeeper Toby, as we know it of time of recording. This is the Paldea map, with its vast deserts, rivers, forests, and snow-capped mountains. And at its center, there is what I like to call the Void, as in empty void, because we can see it, but we don't know what lives there or doesn't live there. I mean, I may as well call it Schrodinger Void. <laughs> you know, Big Bang? Anyway, at the edge of the void is where I'm suggesting some kind of void lab or void research district lay. And if you take one look closely at this supposed lab, you would see a protrusion at the base on the inside of the void. And if you know Pokemon like I know Pokemon, Junichi Masada never misses a beat and will ask the team working behind the Pokemon games to add in as much information and detail as possible into every inch of the game and into all aspects of the game, including the maps. And I have gone over this map with a fine tooth comb and have found an oddity that I believe could very well be the final piece of the puzzle that is Coridon and Maridon. And with all the available information at hand, I formulated this theory. So say I'm right, and it has to do with the Void Lab or Research District. As we make our way up to the Void Lab, just like in many previous versions of Pokemon, we could encounter the enemy team again harassing the poor researchers. Again. What is it with enemy teams and always going after the lab techs? The poor guys need a new career, I think. Either way, this is where it gets a bit tinfoil hat time. After battling the other team, we either A, the team pretends to leave and 
when we find an odd item, the same item they were after, they begin to chase us on our mounts into the specific platform and we end up over the rails, falling in, and that's where Cycles Art evolves. Or B, they do leave, and we still find ourselves on this platform, either by finding an item, either by just happenstance of being in there. And the presence of Cycles Art in that void area is enough to make him go berserk, or just go into an evolution state. And that's how we get Maridon or Coridon. Or lastly, they do leave, and we still end up on that platform and the void is what shakes us off into the void. To cut a long story short, I believe that this platform is where we'll have Cycles R evolve. This is just my belief that it will evolve into Coridon or Maridon. But it's through an event like an item, an event like falling in, falling in with an item. Or, like I said before, just being in close proximity to the actual void. I believe that this void is the key to the chance meeting of Coridon and Maridon. Again, this is all speculation and I have no concrete evidence to suggest anything like this could actually happen. But it would definitely make for an interesting storyline. Well guys, we've made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like and comment your thoughts below. And while you're at it, smack the bells and whistles while you're there if you haven't already. And just another big thank you to Game Chop for this fantastic soundtrack and Birdkeeper Toby for the amazing Paldean map. Why not subscribe to them too? And as always, I'll see you when you're looking at me. Catch ya.